This stadium has been in service for nearly 80 years and has had some unconventional uses in that time, but this is a view that no longer exists. About a year ago, I got a permit to fly my drone over Wichita State's Cessna Stadium during a short window of time right after the state high school track meet and shortly before it was scheduled for partial demolition. This stadium started out as a humble 7,000-seat stadium for the Municipal University of Wichita. Construction on it began in 1941 under the Works Progress Administration, but work stopped in 1942 when the U.S. entered World War II and there was a sudden shortage of labor and materials. After the war, work resumed and the stadium was open in time for the 1946 football season, although construction wouldn't be completely done until 1948. The completed stadium was more than double the original plan, with 15,000 seats, and was dubbed Veterans Field. By 1969, the university had outgrown the stadium, so it was further expanded to 31,000 seats, thanks in part to a large donation from the Cessna Aircraft Company. Thus, it was renamed to Cessna Stadium. In 1978, the stadium saw record-breaking attendance of 30,518 people in a football game against Oklahoma State. However, by 1986, the football team at Wichita State was discontinued due to cost and waning interest. Today, Cessna Stadium is used mainly for track and field and the planned renovations, though apparently delayed at the moment, are designed to meet the current needs of the university. The stadium has also seen some unconventional uses over the years, serving as a repelling zone for rock climbing students when I was a student at the university, and as a ski slope dubbed Shocker Mountain in the 1970s and 80s.